Hey guys, it's Bowens and welcome back to a brand new channel and welcome to a brand new match day vlog and today Stoke City take on Middlesbrough at home in the championship and yes it's a nice little Wednesday afternoon and we're about to go for this evening kickoff and and I wasn't even meant to go to this game today uh, my mum yet again has come in clutch with the ticket and said do you want to come along and I was like yeah well I've had to rush to get here so I'm a little bit crazy playing football with my uh, mates from work and had to rush and it looks like I'm about to make it in time for the match which is a good thing so yeah I'm looking forward to this Stoke and Middlesbrough had not had the best of starts I think Middlesbrough had two draws and one loss from three Stoke had one win and two losses from three but a win tonight even a 1-0 win could put us up as as high as seven being up the table that high up the table that year in the season is a good thing because good momentum we need that back especially with the next home game being against Sunderland on Saturday so we need to get into this with a positive mindset and today I'm going to say it's going to be Stoke that do get the win and it's going to be a narrow 1-0 win again I predicted that against the Blackpool I think I did I predicted a 1-0 win and we won nonetheless which was good so yeah let's just get to the stadium and let's see Stoke get 3 points come on Good turnout for Bora. Lines up. Hey! Hold on, line up. Go on. Away! One of you! Oh my god! Go on. Third time's charm. I'll do. Go. Goal. Away 
Nick is on the corner. Oh. Another one. Fuck off, Bore. Fuck off, Bore. Ain't catching Fosu. Come on. Oh. Oh. Fosu, Fosu. Oh. Second half's about starts. It's a very, very, very poor first half. Mills were absolutely battered us, so they deserve to get the goal towards the end of that first half. Now it's just about well, hopefully no one else ever give them a good talking to because the second half. We need to get a win here. Yeah, we keep our own form alive. We're back out for the second. to the last about four minutes for normal time and we're a pile of ass. Millersbridge is here to be winning this, they've been all over us all game, more alert to it and we just don't look like we can be bothered today at all and simple as Michael O'Neill's got to go as that guy's just shouted, we just don't look eager at all. Even 2-1 up, they're not sitting back, no, they're still going for more. We need to sort this out. Please. apologize for not recording uh, a whole lot my phone was like on the on the brink because i was like you know i was at work all day etc and uh, you know i didn't have much charging power on me so that's probably why i didn't get as much as i normally would like but i'm quite glad i didn't because stoke were woeful and the majority of the clips were middles were pushing up the pitch and creating little chances because realistically they should have won that game they battered us start to finish and even our lead early after 20 minutes with brown scoring was was um really well undeserved um but I don't, I don't think it was a foul but um that made Gale break away like one on one with the defender and then play Brown in but 
you know, we just didn't deserve to get anything from that game. We're very lucky we did. <laughs> um, the Mario Wright right, Phillips um, didn't really get the goal that much on camera, but ball got floated in. I think it might have been Baker that like floated it in, and then Demario Wright right, Phillips is the one to head it in in uh, like the ninety second minute. So it was good. We managed to do. Managed, we we did we did manage to get a point, which is good, and uh, still only beaten at home this season, which is something to take into Saturday's game against um, Sunderland. But yeah, we need to do better. Um, quite a lot of players out as well. I said only the interviews like Laurent and Time and still Nick Powell, Suter, all out still. Harry Clark is out for a few weeks now, uh, for another injury. So yeah, apparently we're quite stretched. But let's hope that some of the new boys can fit in and do well. Fosu, who just only just got in from Brentford on loan, he looks really good on that wide position. Just needs a bit more. Um, he needs a bit more people to play him in behind and get those runs off. So I hope for. A bit better on Saturday. Um, I don't know if I'll be going to that one. I don't think I will be, um, because I went to this one. No, I wasn't meant to be going to this one. Yeah, shout out to my mum again. Uh, thanks, thanks, mum, <laughs> for taking me to that. But yeah, I'm just glad we got some out of it. And um, yeah, I'm still only allowed. We need to go friend <laughs> ready for Sean Dyche or, or someone like that to come in and change stuff because I reckon that'll be a way forward. But yeah, it's late. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have, leave a like. If you haven't. Uh, well, let me know in the comments below why you didn't and if you're new hit the subscribe button down below as well a uh, big red button down below that would really help me out but yeah as you can tell i'm fading <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching it's phones i'm signing out peace